Salut les joueurs de check, aujourd'hui nous allons nous concentrer sur le coup de plara pour le check, à savoir the passing. And the question is, what is the maximum number of such moves that you can have in a chess game? And well, the answer is 8. Because for an unpassant to happen, you need to have 2 pawns, and in total we have 16 pawns on the board, so 16 divided by 2, that's 8 possible unpassants. And this is demonstrated in this example game that I found online. Again, this is not a real game, but it's just an example. So we have one percent, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's all. This is the end of this example game. However, another question that you might ask is, well, what is the maximum number of unpassants that happened in a real game. And so I searched through the database, through the 2 million games that I have, and I found this game. Uh, this was played in 1998 between two chess people. And well, the game, it was a Sicilian defense. Uh, I'm not going to comment too much on the game. Uh, that's a weird move though. Why go back? Uh, I don't know, but uh, let's uh, see. Let's wait for the first unpassant to happen. We have to wait a bit longer. And let me see. We have an exchange of bishops. And finally, yes, that's the first unpassant of this game. We have takes. Takes, takes. I'm not gonna comment too much. And... Yes, that's the second passant. And this is something that sometimes happens in chess game where you use an enemy pawn to shield your own king. It's not ideal, but well, it just works. Not always, but in this case, uh, I guess it does. So the game continues. That's two passants so far. Let's see how many we have. That's the third one. And let's see, game continues. Exchange of rooks, and here, look at this, look at this move, can you see that the queen is just hanging, with check even, but for some reason, black doesn't see it, in fact, now this is the winning move, because after this, you can just block, 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 move, and this is checkmate. However, this didn't even happen in the game. In the game, after this, we had this. For some reason, which looks like a mouse slip, but this is not an online game, I guess. No, it's not an online game, it's an over the board game. So I don't know what happened. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was the last move of the game. Apparently the two players agreed to a draw. Maybe they were too embarrassed by their mistakes and they agreed to a draw. I don't know the time constraints, but I guess they were both very long time and they missed those obvious to us moves. But anyway, that was the end of the game and we had three unpassants. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a game with four or more unpassants, so three was the maximum. There were a lot of games with three unpassants, but I chose this one for this uh, funny ending. So yeah, although in theory you can have up to eight unpassants in a chess game, in reality the best I could find was three. But remember that Anpassan is a very rare move, so to even have three of them in a chess game, that's also a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video where we checked on the Anpassan move. But anyway, that was it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.